Coming up on 5-Minute News. Trump judge forces Remain in Mexico asylum policy to restart. Biden announces fight against Omicron as variant spreads. And Republican senator blocks gun control law in wake of recent school shooting. It's Friday, December 3. I'm Anthony Davis. Asylum seekers looking to enter the United States will again have to stay in Mexico as they await immigration hearings, as the Biden administration reluctantly announced plans on Thursday to reinstate the Trump-era policy and agreed to Mexico's conditions for resuming it. Revival of the Remain in Mexico policy comes even as the Biden administration maneuvers to end it in a way that survives legal scrutiny. Joe Biden scrapped the policy, but a lawsuit by Texas and Missouri forced him to put it back into effect, subject to Mexico's acceptance. Mexico's conditions include COVID-19 vaccinations for migrants, more protection in dangerous Mexican border cities, better access to attorneys, and quicker resolution of cases. About 70,000 asylum seekers have been subject to the policy, which President Donald Trump introduced in January 2019 and which Joe Biden suspended on his first day in office. Illegal border crossings fell sharply after Mexico, facing Trump's threat of higher tariffs, acquiesced in 2019 to the policy's rapid expansion. Asylum seekers were victims of major violence while waiting in Mexico and faced a slew of illegal obstacles, such as access to attorneys and case information. The Homeland Security Department said on Thursday it was acting to comply with a court order, but that Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas believes the policy has endemic flaws, imposed unjustifiable human costs, pulled resources and personnel away from other priority efforts, and failed to address the root cause of irregular migration. The dual announcement follows intense discussions between the US and Mexico after a US district judge, a Trump appointee in Amarillo, Texas, ordered the policy to be reinstated. All migrants subject to the policy will be vaccinated against COVID-19. The US will try to complete cases within 180 days, a response to Mexico's concerns that they will languish. The Justice Department is assigning 22 immigration judges to work on these cases exclusively. President Joe Biden on Thursday laid out his strategy to fight the coronavirus as the highly contagious variant Omicron spread across the globe, with winter coming and hours after the first known US case of community transmission of the variant was reported. With authorities around the world scrambling to contain Omicron, Biden warned in no uncertain terms that infections will rise this winter. So far, three U.S. states have found Omicron cases, California, Colorado and Minnesota. In all three cases, the patients were fully vaccinated and developed mild symptoms. Much remains unknown about Omicron, which was first detected in southern Africa last month and has been reported in at least two dozen countries, just as parts of Europe were already grappling with a wave of infections from the Delta variant. Under Biden's plan, the United States will require inbound international passengers to be tested for COVID-19 within one day of departure, regardless of vaccination status. Mask requirements on aeroplanes, trains and public transportation vehicles will be extended to March 18. The US government will also require private health insurers to reimburse their 150 million customers for 100% of the cost of over-the-counter at-home COVID-19 tests and make 50 million more tests available free through rural clinics and health centres for the uninsured. Less than 60% of the US population, or 196 million people, have been fully vaccinated, one of the lowest rates among wealthy nations worldwide. The Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley, the leading Republican on the Senate Judiciary Committee, blocked a request on Thursday to proceed on gun control legislation in the Senate following the Michigan school shooting this week. 
Senator Chris Murphy, a Democrat from Connecticut and leading gun control advocate, requested unanimous consent on Thursday to pass the Enhanced Background Checks Act of 2021, which would require new background checks for gun transfers between private parties, as well as expand a 10-day review for gun purchases and transfers. The legislation, passed by the House in March, would also prohibit a firearm from being transferred among individuals unless a licensed dealer or manufacturer carries out a background check. Murphy cited the deadly shooting at a Michigan high school on Tuesday, which left four students dead and injured several others. However, Grassley blocked the request, condemning it as hostile towards lawful gun owners and lawful firearm transactions. He argued that so-called universal background checks will not prevent crime and will turn otherwise law-abiding citizens into criminals. Grassley went on to promote his own bill, which is sponsored with the Republican senators Ted Cruz and Tom Tillis, as a better alternative, which merely submits records to the National Instant Criminal Background Check System. Murphy objected to the bill when Grassley requested unanimous consent, arguing that it's a massive contraction of the universal background check system rather than what Americans support, which is an expansion of the background check system. He added that the Republican Party cares more about the health of the gun industry and their profits more than they do about the health of our kids. You can subscribe to 5-Minute News on YouTube with your preferred podcast app, Ask your smart speaker or enable 5-Minute News as your Amazon Alexa flash briefing skill. Subscribe, rate and review online at 5minute.news. 5-Minute News is an evergreen podcast covering politics, inequality, health and climate. Delivering independent, unbiased and essential world news daily.